Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one is entitled Stellar Cores and Their Debris Interacting with Earth. Now, the Planet X system of stellar cores has not only brought in many objects, which were once stars, planets, and moons, that have now, through energy depletion, become stellar cores of various size. It has also brought in a large amount of debris which the stellar cores shared. In this article, I detail the interactions which may bring some of these objects and the debris that generate to the Earth. So here we see one of these stellar cores uh, in the sun's corona. This is a uh, composite SDO image from December 25th, 2018. As you can see, there's clearly a striped object in the sun's corona um, moving, and it seems to be drawing material from the sun's corona behind it. So clearly a spherical object, you can see that the stripes are curved following the contours of the spherical uh, surface. Now the object, as I said, is striped and the size comparison with the sun reveals that it is about four times larger than the Earth. And here we see a much larger stellar core. This one was seen in a Lasco C2 image from July 23rd, 2017. This particular object, as you can see, clearly a spherical object. You can clearly see the outline of a, a solid spherical object there. And this object was about the same size as the sun. Now in both these images, you see these bright spots in front of the sun and in front of the objects themselves. These are not stars. These are actually due to the material that is shared by these objects. And you can see a lot of the same spots, some are black spots, some are white spots, where we can see lots of spots even in front of the sun. And this tells us it cannot be stars. This is debris within the solar system which the objects shared. The blue stellar core, which was observed through a telescope, was clearly seen to be shedding this material which was floating around it. So this shows us that these objects shed the outer layers of material. So the debris coming off the object seems to simply float in space and not be attracted to the objects or the sun, which means that it is so low in gravitational energy that it is a completely unresponsible, uh, unresponsive to the gravitational attraction of other objects. But this debris will absorb photons from the sun and thus gain energy. And as the stellar core matter gains energy, it will become more responsive gravitationally and will thus be able to be attracted to the sun or one of the planets. The stellar core matter that would be able to gain enough energy first to be able to be attracted and drawn toward the planet would be the smaller sized objects. And we would thus see dust first be drawn into the Earth's atmosphere. And this is what has been occurring since 1850. And you may look at Article 146 entitled Planet X System, Time of Arrival, for more details on that. The larger pieces will most likely take a very long time to gain enough energy to be able to be attracted to the planets to the point that they will impact the surface of a planet. It should therefore be quite a long time before we would most likely get small asteroid-sized telecom matter drawn in. But two smaller-sized objects were observed coming in. As you can see, they are bright, they are emitting light. They are moving in the Earth's atmosphere, and the way we know that is because they were moving in the opposite direction to the Sun. In other words, in the opposite direction to the Earth's rotation. And this means that they either have to be within the atmosphere or they would be moving at unbelievable speeds, which is unlikely. So the, the chemtrail haze, uh, furthermore, would make it very difficult, makes it very difficult to observe objects outside the atmosphere. So the fact that we can clearly see these objects means that th they're most likely within the atmosphere. And the fact that there seems to be clouds surrounding them, and cloud that is emitting light, in other words, luminescent cloud, indicates that these are in fact stellar core matter, 
uh, possibly much larger than the dust that usually gives rise to noctilucent clouds in the upper atmosphere. But they are being followed by, uh, looks like a cloud that is emitting light. So this, we would expect them to therefore be stellar core or stellar core matter, particularly debris that the larger stellar cores are shedding and this is now entering the atmosphere. And the way we know it is because stellar core matter, because it's low in energy, will cause condensation of water and thus cloud formation around, um, around the debris that has entered the atmosphere. And these clouds will also give off light as a result of the process by which this type of matter absorbs energy. Now the objects are not moving towards the surface as you would expect a meteor to do, but parallel to the surface. And this is another indication that this is stellar matter, which is there for uh, not responding gravitationally as we would expect normal matter to do. Normal matter comes straight down like a meteor does, very moving very fast and impacts the ground. These objects are moving parallel to the surface of the Earth. They're not moving downwards in order to impact the Earth as you'd expect meteors to do. And that shows you that this is not normal matter. This is telecom matter which is depleted in energy and therefore does not respond to gravity in the same way as normal matter. Now these objects will most likely eventually absorb enough energy within the Earth's atmosphere to impact the ground, at which time they may simply look like normal rocky objects. The stellar core dust, once it has absorbed enough energy, will also fall to the ground and appear to be normal dust. This was most likely what the people saw on the ground after the three hours of darkness event in northern Russia on July 20th, 2018. And you may look at article 291 entitled The Sun Disappears, Day Turns Into Night for more details on that. So in conclusion, debris generated by the stellar core seems to be entering the Earth's atmosphere continually and causing the formation of luminescent clouds in the atmosphere. These objects seem to range in size from dust particles to asteroid-sized objects. They are likely to impact the ground once they have absorbed enough energy from the Earth. This continuous barrage is causing the Earth to lose energy and therefore gravity, leading to expansion and therefore fissuring of the surface and also to continuously increasing volcanic eruptions. And you may look at article 282 entitled Earth in Upheaval, Magma Rising from Beneath for more details. And here are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.